It presents me in a way that my own effort could not present. It gives me the ability to be able to have the appearance of what's not really mine. It kind of sounds like salvation. Hey guys, welcome to Bury and Babs Binth. And now I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. We begin Mike Todd. Mike Todd is a pastor at Transformation Church out in Oklahoma. For whatever the reason, Mike Todd was possessed. I don't know where these demons are coming from, okay? And he decided to have his barber in church while he was preaching to trim his beard, okay? This is, you think this is an AI? Somebody just made this up for Mike Todd? No, everything is exactly what took place at Transformation Church in front of his congregation. So I'll play the video for you guys. That way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But make sure that you're sitting down, okay? <laughs> you have to be sitting down because this is something else. Here we go. What is he doing right now? This is what in the barber world they call enhancements. See, when you get a master barber and they can see what you don't see, they can fill in the holes and the gaps. The areas, y'all be like, dang, Pastor Mike Beard be so nice. That ain't me. That's the grace of God. <laughs> Hear what I'm saying to you. It presents me in a way that my own effort could not present. It gives me the ability to be able to have the appearance of what's not really mine. It kind of sounds like salvation. Guys, honestly speaking, are you telling me that if he gets his beard, okay, trimmed nice and properly, there's nothing wrong with all that, okay? That's not an issue over here, but it's kind of like salvation. I mean, like, what, what are we talking about here? And this is Mike Todd. He keeps doing things like this. I do not understand for the life of me. He has no regard for the church of God. He's, there's so many reasons why this guy is disqualified, but like this, it's just like, where's the reverence for the church? Where's holiness? Uh, how are you conducting yourself in church like this? And what exactly are you teaching? What does you getting your beard trim, let alone having actually, you know, this is uh, uh, his actual barber who is doing this, okay? Obviously, he's getting paid. That's not his problem. He's just doing his job. But this is the pastor. Where is accountability for Mike Todd at his church? Are there other, um, I mean, you know, there's so many women pastors over there, so I don't expect that they can say anything or do anything. But where is accountability? Why would you do this? Why don't you do this at home? Why are you doing this in, in the church? Huh? Honestly speaking, can you, can, you, can you fathom this? Okay. In Christ, he is a new creation. So when the debt comes up for all the sin that I made, I get the enhancement of Jesus Christ being the one that stands in front of me and fills in every gap, every hole, every area that my hair could not grow, every area that my life could not produce. He does not look at me but he looks at Jesus and so for every patchy place of my life I get the enhancement of the Holy Spirit I'll preach this thing right now all of us at some time need favor we don't deserve need somebody to cover us when we don't actually have the ability to do it ourselves okay did you hear what he said? He said he'll preach this message right now. Is that preaching? How can you even call that preaching? He's not preaching at all. You cannot even call this preaching, but obviously he's calling preaching. And then people in the church over there, they're, they're screaming, thinking that this guy has just said anything. Remember, we just don't go to church just because it's Sunday. We're just going to church, right? There is a reason why we go to church. We are going there for, there is a reason, there is a purpose, right? We are going to worship God. We are going there to hear the word of God being preached from the pulpit with, with authority. Is that what we are witnessing with Mike Todd right now? 
Absolutely not. And does he even know um, uh, the, the doctrine of ecclesiology? I don't think he does. I don't think he thinks he can do whatever else he wants to do in the church. Okay? This is what he's doing. Because if anybody who understands uh, what a church is, I just don't see how he'll be behaving the way he's doing. Okay? We, there's, um, what is the church supposed to be doing? A church is supposed to be glorifying God. Is that, does that look like somebody who's glorifying God right now in church? Absolutely not. Okay? Does uh, you go to church, right? The, the purpose of the church is supposed to be proclaiming the word of God, the gospel and everything else. But he's telling us him getting uh, his beard done and everything. This is it's, it's kind of like salvation for real. Huh? Where is he getting that from? Where are you getting that from? I do not understand. OK. And like, you know, so many things that the church is supposed to be doing. OK. Um, giving sacraments. Doing church discipline, okay, baptizing people, preaching the gospel, the word of God. This is not what we're getting from Mike Todd. And people keep going to this church. So, yes, I do say that Mike Todd is definitely disqualified. He's beyond disqualified, okay? So this is First Timothy, uh, First Timothy 3. And this is after Paul had listed all the qualifications that are required for an elder, for a deacon. Okay? And I read this. Verse 14. I hope to come to you soon, but I'm writing these things to you so that if I delay, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God. Which is the church of the living God, a pillar and buttress of the truth. Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of godliness. So are you telling me that this is how one ought to behave themselves in a household of God? Can we even call where Mike Todd is a household of God? Can we even call this preaching and teaching? And what are all those people doing there? And what is Mike Todd exactly doing? So we are acting and pretending like you know, the scripture is already there. Everything is already there. All these people are called to do is just follow that. There is already a blueprint. There is already a blueprint. So I just don't see anywhere where you can find that whatever Mike Todd is doing can be excused, biblically speaking, none whatsoever. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.